We're quite tight. Oh, oh, oh. Very tight. Oh, okay. Good. Okay, nice and clean, you got it. Yep, pretty good. Yes! Whoa, whoa. Here's the run. Important to at least whoa, get one whoa, whoa, of those stones whoa. that is in the forefoot moving. Okay, good throw, Carly. Pull it off. Ah, shoot. Okay. Unfortunately, the BC stone really goes. Nice so we mentioned that Sarah, it's her first ever Scotty's appearance, but she <laughs> comes throw, from. Though. Great bloodlines when it comes to curling. Her aunt is Tracy Kennedy, who won back-to-back -back Scotty titles with Heather Houston, 88-89 out of Thunder Bay with Lorraine Lang, who is on that team. Lorraine is an alternate here with Northern Ontario. And there you see Rick, who is the coach. Well, Sarah's uncle is Bruce Kennedy, who played with Al Hackner in 1992 as a lead, winning the Briar for Northern Ontario. Rick was on that team. And as the story goes, Sarah's grandfather, Darwin Wark, he competed in the Briar in 1959, representing Northern Ontario. You had a chance actually to talk with Rick in the booth earlier today before the broadcast. He said back then, so that Briar in 59 was actually in Quebec City. So a lot of players, including the Richardsons, got on a train. And the Richardson brothers won that year, took the train, picking up players as the train went on until they finally arrived. And as Rick tells the story, the camaraderie that you build and getting to know the players back then. And... I mean, we're flying into places now, and back yes. then you hopped on the train. So for Sarah, definitely deep roots in her family for sure when it comes to curling. That's a great story, Rick told. You know, he talked about how the train would go across the country picking up everybody for the Briar, and they developed lifelong friendships because you had days together before yep, you yep, got yep, to Quebec yep, that year for really the championship. Hard, 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 right up, right up, right up. 